Hello, everybody, and welcome to another wrestling commentary. I'm your host, Edge0626, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. So this match was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, I picked Eddie Guerrero because in 2K18, he is the World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, those of you who probably watched EBCW back during the 2K18 season know that he won on one of the last uh, pay-per-view matches, if not the last one. I could be wrong. Don't take my word for it. But, yeah, man, this he's been in a feud with Edge ever since, and uh, he kind of doesn't want to... I mean, Edge did... As much as I love Edge, and I would usually never vote against him, you know, Eddie's the champion, so I don't want the champion to lose. Edge was a real bitch this match, dude. I had to, I had to put three fucking frog... Five-star... Or five-star frog splash, but three frog splashes on Edge to put him down, and I'm like, fuck, Edge was strong in this game. But I had a pretty good, uh, it was a pretty good matchup. You guys enjoyed it in the background. So, here's something I'd like to talk to you guys about today that kind of worries me for the future of the WWE Network on Peacock. Now, I, at, this, at, at one point, wasn't completely against the Peacock deal. I thought the Peacock deal made a decent amount of money for WWE, and of course I want the company I support getting a shit ton of money and hopefully getting them better deals in the future with other things. However, I was also upset because I would have rather my money been given to WWE directly through the WWE Network instead of having to go through a third party, I guess we'll call it that, through Peacock, which is NBC, and I don't really give a shit about most of, if not all, of NBC's programming. So I was like, why do I have to pay for shit that, for something that I don't really need other than for the WWE Network? So... It is what it is. At this, at 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 that point, I was like, I ha I have no choice because if I want to watch WWE Network, I'd have to download the app. So, lo and behold, I downloaded the app. I haven't really watched anything on it yet, but I've been reading some things through various wrestling uh, dirt sheets, if you can call it that, or, res or wrestling sites that. Since this change has been undergone, which it hasn't been entirely smooth from what I've heard, but. They've started to now ac actively censor things. Now, if you've been, if you know me and you've been on this channel in recent months, you know I'm very much against censorship and silencing. However, I have said in the past very recently that I'm not against censorship if it calls for it. And the two things I had in mind when I say this were, well, one thing that was censored was Roddy Piper doing half blackface at a WrestleMania match where it's like, uh, okay, I can kind of see that. I mean, to me at the same time, it's, I don't know what, what the context was for it other than the fact that he was in a match against someone named, I think his name was Bad News Brown or something like that. I, I, I haven't, I don't, haven't watched that match. I have not, I haven't really checked much out from WWE in the 80s, to be honest with you, to make any sort of opinion on that. But, so I, I can kind of understand from that point of view as well. Uh, and then the whole Vince McMahon <laughs> using the N-word with with the Booker T watching in some sort of promo or whatever with John Cena. I don't know what pay-per-view it was, but I've seen it so many times I get a kick out of it every single time because it's just so fucking stupid. But it, it, I can see that being censored. I completely understand. But now it made me think, you know, when it comes to censorship, where it's like, if that's stuff that Peacock wants to censor off the network... And WWE wants to have it censored. How much more shit are they going to touch? You know, think about all the stuff that happened in ECW. And all the wacky stuff that Joel Gertner said. With all, with all the sexual references and stuff like that. All, this, all the things that people did to each other in ECW. Think about, what, in my opinion, is one of the best like joking promos of all time with... You know, DX dressing up as the Nation of Domination. And X-Pac has blackface on. X-Pac had blackface on. Because he was Mark Henry. He was Ms. Mark Henry or whatever he was. And I, I thought that... I had that promo on DVD. So I, I thought it was fucking hysterical. But... You know, that's in question now, too. So, if they're willing to censor that stuff, which, again, I completely understand why they would censor the Vince McMahon thing. The Roddy Piper thing, I don't really have too much context on, although I can kind of see where people are coming from with that. You know, I... Like, the racist shit I get. Like, the racist shit I get. But I don't think even... I don't even think the X-Pac thing was even meant to even be racist. He was just impersonating someone. 
You know, apparently that's a big no-no. When you were at a costume party and you were impersonating someone, maybe that you were a fan of their work or whatever, you know, that's a big issue now. So, who, who the fuck knows what they're going to do with that promo. Thank God, like I said, I have it on DVD. So, it's not entirely lost to me forever, at least until DVDs and DVD recorders and, you know, players stop, stop getting made. But, who the fuck knows with that. Anyway, but just like all the stuff in general, it's like, God, man, like how much... If they're willing to take off certain things like that, now it's like in question of everything else. You know, what is WWE willing to take off their platform from ECW, WCW, the Attitude Era, even maybe even parts of the Ruthless Aggression Era? Like, like some people would argue the storyline with Booker T and R Triple H going into WrestleMania 19 might be a little bit racist. Now, I, don't, I haven't seen that storyline and what led up to it. I have seen the match in the very, very long uh, cover that Triple H went to go make, which I can see where people may have an issue with. But, you know, that's my, you know, what has to be censored at this point? To me, unless it's like super egregious, like, for, again, you know, WWE's CEO and chairman saying the N-word on national fucking television, which has been memed to death at this point, you know, I would say that's egregious. I would say that probably shouldn't have happened. And what they were thinking when it did happen, I have no fucking clue. But that's a different story for a different time. I just I just hate censorship. And I hate where now they have to look at everything. You know, who knows what's going to be taken off. New Jack? Look at how many New Jack matches and the shit he's done. You know, he nearly fucking killed somebody. And I, I saw many, many moons ago. I was watching an ECW pay-per-view. I haven't watched an ECW pay-per-view in a while because I just haven't gotten to it. But New Jack throws someone off a fucking, uh, off a fucking stand thing. Like, we're, uh, I forgot what you call those things. Where it's like where painters go and paint if they have to go reach high up places. You know, scaffold or something like that. And he threw someone off a fucking scaffold and, or he himself, like, threw himself with the guy off the scaffold, and I think he went, like, partially blind for a little while there. Of course, there's the time where he threw another guy off a scaffold, and he intentionally tried to throw the guy off out of the ring and hopefully end his career and maybe even his life because he's a psychopath. Like, like what, what are they constituting here as, you know, stuff to censor, you know? If they're willing to censor s s stuff like that, what are they looking to take away? Because, again... I personally am not a fan of censorship in any way, shape, and form. I wasn't a fan of things when on YouTube when they started getting censored. I was definitely not a fan of the leafy termination. I think it only painted YouTube in a negative light. And I mean, now with Peacock, and we know NBC, and I don't want to bring politics into this, but you know, it's kind of hard to not. It's kind of hard not to bring politics into this, but you know, NBC is more of a you know, a left-leaning company. There's no denying that. I mean, look at MSNBC with their news channel. You know, it's no. There's no denying that that is a, you know, more of a liberal take on on certain things when it comes to news. So, with WWE being a part of Peacock, how long until people of that realm, or as I like to call them, weak-minded individuals in general, how long until they are ban are demanding censorship for things? in wrestling history or wrestling matches you know only time will tell as far as i know the roddy piper and the vince mcmahon thing and this is at the point of this recording are the only things that have been censored god knows when this video goes out how much more stuff is going to be censored and when it does and if it does i will take a look at it and i'll be like and i'll make that decision where i'm like is it really that bad you know, is it really that bad we got to start censoring shit? Because to me, when you start censoring shit that shouldn't have to be censored, you start taking away the whole thing of the show. Like, like you take away memories, whether it's re absolutely fucking ridiculous or not. But I don't know. Again, like I said, the Vince McMahon thing, it's been it's on the Internet enough where you're never going to forget it. So I can see that. And the and the Roddy Piper thing, again, I don't know the context stuff, so I, I can't really attest to it. But that's what I got to say, man. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think about this down in the comments section below, because I am curious to know what some people's takes on this are, because I think it's, it's going to take a point where it's going to be too far. See you guys soon.